Hey, in this quick video, let's take a look at something called polygroups by normal. So polygroups is a great way to quickly group things that you want to control in a solid mesh. So let's take a look for anyone who is new and uh, see what does that mean. So if I go into my tools and select something as simple as the cylinder, right? Let's go ahead and make it poly mesh 3D so we can sculpt on it. And by default, if you turn on your uh, polyframe, you can see that whenever you get a tool, it usually will be made out of one polygroup, one solid polygroup. But a lot of times when you want to uh, sculpt on it or do things to it, um, usually you want to divide it into subgroups, especially if you're doing UVs or maybe you want to have specific control over certain things, you want to hide pieces of your mesh. It's a really good practice to take advantage of polygroups here in ZBrush. So what would be the fastest way to polygroup something like this automatically? So what you could do is you go into tool, then go into polygroups. And in polygroups, we have something called groups by normals. And by default, uh, my angle is currently set to 45, which is great, which means when I press this button, you can see that now ZBrush automatically masked out certain portions of the mesh to be specific polygroup color. Now this gives me a lot of control, right? If I do control shift and click, for example, I can isolate just the middle of it. Let me turn on my double. You can see what that looks like. If I click on this uh, shape by holding control shift and click, you can see that now I can play around with these two shapes and I have full control. I can separate them. I can use Z modeler on them. It's an amazing control that you have as long as things are polygrouped, right? So let's go ahead and bring everything back by just clicking control shift outside. And uh, let's take another scenario. Let's say I'm going to uh, turn it back into one. And let's say you're doing something, right? Let's say you're sculpting maybe a tree trunk and it's not even and perfect, right? Maybe the bottom, the top of it is gonna be tilted. Maybe it's a hat or something. And you have just a more of an organic shape instead of something perfectly straight, right? And let's really bring this down a lot, right? I'm just gonna really mess this up. So we'll do something like that. Now would something like this work to automatically assign polygroups? Uh, let's try it, groups by normal. So I'm gonna click on it and you can see it works just fine. So it's a super powerful way to uh, quickly automatically break up your mesh into surfaces and faces that you can uh, fully control using polygroup by normal. And again, you can control the angle as well to give you even more uh, freedom. All right, thanks for uh, watching this tip and I'll see you guys in our next video.